Very well everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Star Ocean 2 Last time we uh, We explored Linga and now Today We'll do The dungeon that's right in front of it But not before we do some stuff with the crafting system Because it's been a while since we abused the hell out of it So it's time to Do more with it First thing I want to do I actually want to lower my headphone volume Because it's way too low I mean it's too loud Anyway, uh, let's see. I do want to talk about machinery real quick, or mechanist. So, mechanist, if you create machinery, you can create either a portable item, a dangerous item that can be used in battle, or an item specifically for opera. Or apparently we have an X clip here, which is a kit, I think I found it, I don't know where, but... Anyway, let's just pop it. Also, I think I have to show this real quick. Off screen, when I was messing with machinery, uh, Opera has discovered the talent design sense, so she got SPs and BPs for free. So there's that. We don't need that X clip. X clip, we already have one with a plus two. But if you create support item, you can create uh, some things. That will help with crafting. I already created the soldering iron that grants a 30% chance of not losing materials when crafting. And there are others you can make too. King Kitchen Knife, for example, increases chance of not losing materials during cooking. I did not press a button. I don't know why it changed all of a sudden. So we'll try, we'll make that 100% chance anyway. These used to be random in the original. It just had to just, you know, machinery was just one thing that created a random item, but. This time you can actually choose what category or what item you can create. So let's do all of these. It will make crafting a lot easier and sometimes we'll get materials back. Which is cool. This was for compounding. War processor was for writing. Element analyzer was for appraising. Which is, you know, you get the question mark items. You can reveal what they are. Uh, for this one we only have 50% success of making it. But art we don't really care. Uh, more ingredients for survival. The Ririka is the better... A camera for replication. Magician gloves gives you better pickpocketing rates, which is good. And triangle flask is for uh, alchemy. So there are some good ones. However, we can create opera items. So let's see what we can create. We can only create some some of them because others create need like level seven or so. But you know, you can save your game. And if it doesn't go the way you want it to go, let's try again. In fact, actually, did we get the one for... There's Is there one for machinery? There's not. Alright, let's pop all of them. See what we get. Good, we got what I needed. The white upgrade. And a bunch of clips that we'll see if there's one that's actually good. I dubbed it. There's only a black and boost there anyway. The white upgrade is very good though. And you're gonna see why. That teaches opera a skill. Uh, let's see if by any chance... Booster clip is weaker. Black clip is weaker. It does give more hit than avoidance and crit, but... We want attack. Attack is the best uh, stat of all, of course. So, if we go over here... And use the white upgrade... We can teach opera healing star. And healing star is extremely good. Let's go over to here. Uh, tracking plasma, we'll put it on L for now. I think that will probably stay there. So this uses 9 MPs and heals all allies for some HP. Let's go ahead and improve it. Uh, yeah, specials. 130 SPs, well spent, or BPs rather. Before I explain you what that does, uh, we'll save one more time and we'll try to do something else. We should have... Uh, we should have a bunch of SPs on someone, we'll see. But uh, let me explain you something real quick. So, remember how we need to customize this thing with Mithril? But we don't have Mithril. But you can get it. How you can get Mithril? It's simple actually. Uh, hang on, let me check something out. Okay, you still have the Sprite Bracelet, good. The way you can get Mithril right now 
is to improve a certain skill. Rina's got a lot of SPs to burn. Well, it's just some as well. And I think it's this one. So there's always a skill that when you improve it, it just drops a random item in your inventory from a certain list. And it just so happens that one of the items that you can obtain this way is Mithril. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely because purity was for money. And ESP is definitely for for the, yep, there it is. This is definitely for the one that gives items. So let's see. We'll, we'll spend it with wells. It's fine. So we'll go ESP, Aqua Berries, Stone Cure. We got nothing here. Let's see, maybe we're lucky. Nope, just blueberries. Spectacle, Stone Cure, blueberries. Nope. So you can technically just do that. Load if you didn't get what you wanted. We'll give it some tries. It's not terribly rare to get Mithril, but it might require some tries. And let's see. Improve. I see. Let's go here. ESP. Stone Cure. Blackberries. Stone Cure. Blueberries. Nope. Froghead. Froghead isn't terrible either. There's, there's some reason why you may want it. It's a terrible helm, but I think, it's a I think it gives avoidance. It's just one of the few helms that do that. Uh, I might be wrong on that, though. Uh, let's give it maybe one or two more tries if we get one metal. We only need one, really. We got food for the soul, but I don't think that's very useful. Moonstone, blackberries, food for the soul again. Let's try with all characters at this point. Uh... Unfortunately, this is a very expensive skill. Yeah, one more shot, and then if that doesn't work, I'll do it off screen. Or maybe we'll try it again at the end of the episode. I really want to clear the dungeon today. Alright, one more time. Start from you. Nope, blueberries. Blueberries, blackberries. Ah, uh. uh, there it is. Got it. Okay. Good. All right, we can keep going here. Sure, we wasted some SPs, but it's all for a good purpose. Uh, yes, we will have it right here. And can I improve customization here? I can buy a Smith thing. I can get aesthetic design and get it to level 6. Good. We'll save again. Because we improved the customization level. So let's see here. Should be able to customize this with a mithril. Yes, 100% chance. Nice. We, only, we needed level 6. So good. I, it, it was good that I you know, improved it. Because otherwise... And you get the Blade of Minus. Which apparently got a factor of critical up 5%. Alright. So this decreases your own HP by 10 when attacking, uh, but it's pretty good. Let's see if it's better than what he has right now. It is not. It, my blade that I've got way back when with the with the save scum thing, it's still not as good. But this blade of minus will become extremely good if we find another mithril. And we could, you know, go and find one right now by spending more points on ESP uh, but we would also need customization to 8 so there's no point in trying to get a middle if we can't even use it <laughs> uh, so 10 minutes into the episode we head into the dungeon this must be the kind of herb Bowman was talking about so you can actually pick this up but this is not the one he wants uh, the characters will be like, hey, let's look a little further in, because like this would be too easy otherwise. Definitely that's not a new herb that nobody has found. Uh, Fight good balance. Yeah, we're good like that. So this dungeon, it is pretty good for farming, actually. 
Just be careful, because there's some enemies that can do some nasty status ailments. So, now we have Ealing Star. What's going on with my camera? What? Why am I controlling you? That was easier than I easy, huh? Should be controlling Oprah. That was weird. Am I Oprah in the overworld? I might not be. No, I'm not. Why am I not Oprah? I don't know why I changed the leader. That's weird. Uh, it's like this, right? I might, have done, I might have done it by mistake. There we go. Oh, we have to come down from this ledge. There we go. We'll go back up. So maybe I can explain Healing Star. Because again, Healing Star is very good. And it's the reason why you can even drop Rina later. So you don't have to heal. Because Healing Star just heals so much. There's no need to. Use Rina, except for status ailments and buffs. She can still do that, and that's pretty valuable. So let's do healing star, possibly. So there you go, nine MPs. You heal 900 of uh, for everyone. Now the way it works is kind of mysterious for in this game, because let me tell you how it used to work. So in the original, all these skills add something called proficiency. Essentially, it's a value that starts from zero, and every time you use a certain skill, it goes up by one. All the way up to 999. The more you use a skill, the stronger it gets. So, the higher the proficiency, the stronger is the skill. Uh, because of that, uh, Healing Star was pretty broken. Because Healing Star, what it did, is it used the proficiency to calculate how much it healed. So, Healing Star in the original game heals 200 HP plus proficiency, I believe. Yeah. 200 flat plus proficiency. And since you can literally just get the proficiency to 999 immediately as you get it, just go ahead and farm it. Just go in fights where. Oh shit, I'm about to die here. I go. You know, since you can just go into back to where there are easy fights, set all your characters to do nothing, and just spam that move over and over until you run out of MPs, then, you know, win the fight, recharge your MPs, repeat. You could just get that to 999 as soon as you want it. Which meant you had a move that for 9 MPs healed 5,195. So, two casts of those will pretty much fill your health, no matter what, since your health can be a max of I go a minute. Can be a max of uh, 9,999. Ooh, okay. Healing star. There we go. So it was pretty busted. In this version, it it's a little different. As you can see, it doesn't heal as much. And there's no proficiency. So how does that work? I don't know. It seems to just get stronger as Opera gets stronger. It's not HP. It's not based on strength. It's not based on intelligence. My guess is that it's based off of Opera's level. Uh, when she's maxed out at level 255, because that's the maximum in this game. 255. Oh, I'm about to get ganked here. When it's maxed, it heals 5,500. So, my guess is... It just gets stronger as Opera gets stronger. And it just happens to be... More or less, always... About half your HP. So, yeah, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Use it, use it, use it. It's a great. So, yeah, you have Tracking Plasma for offense. It locks on, it homes in, you know, no need to aim, no need to do anything, just press the button. It rarely misses unless the enemy dies. And if the enemy dies, I mean, good for you. Yeah, you want the enemy to die. And it only starts to get back HP and that's all. You can ditch Rina and have three fighters to just spam all the enemy as much as you want. Ooh, get out of here. Star, thank you. 
Oh my god, that fire attack? Did like a thousand damage, holy shit. Yeah, enemies here... They can be... Kinda tough. But we are getting levels, we are getting stronger. And maybe they were buffed by the leader too. Need to see if... Did Opera have some kind of weakness to... I don't think so. Status. No. It just does a lot of damage, I guess. There's another herb here. There's a battle. Can you turn around? I saw you looking the other way for a sec. There we go. Got that sweet back attack. I need to power up Welch's practice ability too. Uh, these guys can petrify, I believe. Be on the lookout for that. If you decide... Oh, paralyze. Paralyze. Okay, whatever. It's fine because we won. Uh, if you decide to go to Ditrina and use Opera for healing, uh, keep in mind that she cannot heal status ailments and Arena can. So you will have to keep some items on hand to cover that part. Uh, but other than that, like she technically, like Opera, technically heals better than Rina. Her animation is faster, she heals more, it's cheaper. That's it. That's all there is to it. She's strong. That's why he's the most broken character in the game. Let's pop one of these. I have to change this uh, this attack because... Okay, that didn't do a lot. So it was probably because... It was buffed by the leader that I took a thousand damage. Right, well, it's time for you to learn to practice. Because that can give you some additional SPs. To, 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 to train. Right. Grab one of these. Okay, and then grab resilience until it costs more than effort. And then alternate. Rain and Welch on. Everybody on. Good. Oh yeah, I have to change... I do it on here, I believe, right? Yes. Assault action can be... So usually what I have here is... I have um, a move that's not here. <laughs> uh, let's put Thunderstorm on it. Why not? It's just a big AoE. Let's see. We, have, we can go down there. How do I get down there exactly? Well, I'll go this way and see what happens, I guess. That's just not too big, but it does have a lot of paths. It used to be like two screens, I believe. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of the gank. Oh, they're not gonna let me do anything. There we go. See how good that is. I was off my health, press a button, wait just a couple seconds and you go, you're good, you know? It just heals everyone, it's so cheap and we, we, I mean it's 9 MPs but I think it's 6 because we have the ring that reduces by 33% MP cost. And chances are that because of the stamina mechanic, I'm getting it back at the end of the fight. Oh good, a chain. Alright, bring it on boys. Opera, you can shoot them in the air. Thank you. There you is. Do that. Oh, I got poisoned. It's fine though. All right, cool. Let's learn a rock explosion, and it's that is a pretty good skill to have. I heard they nerfed it in this remake. It used to be ve very good in the original. It's essentially a shockwave that hits a bunch of times, if, especially if the enemy is like big, because it creates like multiple rock spires and can hit multiple times. Very good. And if you want to just skyrocket Claude's DPS, you can just set, give him that skill only, and then set him to use skills. To spam, you know, use all MP. And he'll just spam it until it's over and then he'll just basic attack. 
I never used it in this remake because I don't really care honestly <laughs> you can do it but you can also not and you'll still be fine so we just need to check out the top part yeah and then we'll be good I think there's a save point that used not I don't think that was there a save point at the end of the dungeon the original I don't know there's also a boss in this dungeon which is optional you don't have to fight it but we'll fight it because it's fun, it gives a lot of EXP. Speaking of, let's go ahead and... Oh, I could level 10 to 10 resilience here. Give me one of these. One more Celine, then we'll get to level 7 with that. Hmm, I might want to do... Level 6 now. Hmm. Only a 30% chance to get it. I mean, I could save scum this. Huh. 30% is not bad. Let's keep going. Let's fight more, a little bit more battles. Let's see what we can get. Because, you know, if I get the Ririka, I can just start duplicating things. And if I can duplicate the experience cards, I can pop it at the boss. Which is essentially what you need the experience cards for. You just pop him at boss fights. Yeah, heal my DPS. Oh my god, he got stoned. Okay, we, we can handle this. We can handle this. Thunderstorm and just win. Well, not win, but pretty close to. That was easier than I thought. Okay, so all these herbs here, you can't pick them up, but again, there's really only one or two that Bowman will accept as reward, and they're all near the end of the dungeon anyway, so we might as well pick the last one <laughs> and give him that. Oh no, got, Claude got paralyzed. Never mind, Rena healed him. See, this is why you need Rena early on, because of this. Well, later, eventually, you won't need her anymore, you'll see. You just pop an item. And later you can craft a usable item that uses on a character, and the character has immunity from most of those ailments for the rest of the fight, or until it dies. So, yeah. Now there's little read of little need of Rena. Also, there's a formation in this remake that if you set it and you're maxed, you're immune for status ailments. So uh, there you go. There's that as well. And we'll get this. And it'll give us a bunch of stuff. Level up for wells. And Yeah, we're not that far from ending the dungeon. The boss isn't even that bad. It is sort of luck based. You'll see what I mean once we get to fight it. But there's a save point right there, so if you happen to die, you can just reload the save point. Or since this remake allows you to just retry a fight. As you lose it, you just retry it as long as you, you know, as many times as you need to, till it works out. Speaking of, let's see here. Oh, we do have completed some challenges here. Hey, find out the treasure chest. This is very nice. The treasure detector shows treasures on the mini map. Bunch of food we don't care about. Eh, I get the money and BPs, sure, they're good. So, let's see, did we forget something? Yeah, we forgot two treasures there. We'll go back for them, we can just teleport at the entrance and then go there. So those guys are protecting the way to the boss, I believe. Yeah, what's going on down here, though? Also... No, okay, so there is an herb down here. We don't care about that one. That could be a viable one for Bowman, but... Let's go this way instead. Three enemies. Big chain. Let's get some good experience. What do we have? Alright, these guys are easy. I have to be a little careful with Oprah's MPs, though. 
because I'm I'm not recovering as much as I would like to. So let's try to save up a little bit. And again, the save point is right here. So why am I saving for? <laughs> Last fight. Also, it would be a good idea to pop oh, to pop the double experience card in these fights. How many MPs is Opera? Okay, 37, so it's not too much. But eventually, eventually, she'll have so much stamina, she'll just fill up all the way. Every single time. Because when you're recovering a thousand MPs at the end of the fight, and you have a max of 999, you understand that it's like having infinite MPs. Sort of. Uh, oh no, it's uh, on the high ground, okay. I could use. Oh no, she's filled up because uh, level up. That's nice. I uh, didn't used to be that way in the original. You did not get full restore and level up. Yeah, let's fight this one, why not? It's in the way, I need to get the XP. How about that? Very useless seeing star as well. And so, one more thing, obviously, since in this game, uh, controlling opera is very good, since you can just heal your party, like that, uh, you essentially become a healer. So in this game you control the healer, which is also a damage dealer, which is <laughs> weird, but that's how it is. Alright, you want to do that? I'm going to stay out here and pummel you with this. I uh, will have another assault action in a second. Oh yeah, we're going to have an assault action here. i do that. Do an attack. Do this. Try not get ganked. There it is. I also need to push an Opera's uh, terrain ability. She's not getting as many experience as everybody else. So I might have to do something about that. Although I kind of want Machinist up one more time. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to work on this. Yeah, terrain is level 8 for everybody except for her. Oh well. Okay, did we get to the save point? Not quite, but we're almost there. Investigate. Danger ahead, monsters appear beyond this point. Yeah, but monsters also appeared previously. Like the whole dungeon we've seen monsters. It's not this that we want. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Look at them. I wanted to get the third one as well. I mean the fourth one. Oh well, we'll we'll take what we can get. Yeah, attack power up. No shit. Everybody attack that. Load. That's the one I want you to kill. Getting star. Keep us healthy. Let's use another one just in case. That's how you do it. All right, what's next? Ooh, this might be bad. It's already on focus. Let's pop that. Uh, I need to play healer here. There it is. Do that, dodge and heal. Dodge and heal, maybe. Okay, good. We broke him. That's the heal. And we'll just let Claude do all the work. Mostly. One more. There's the gank. Look at that. See? That's what happens when you gank an enemy. They get destroyed.
think that last enemy just saw me, but... Okay. You can leave. Um... Yeah, we'll go back real quick to the entrance. I want to pick up the last two treasures I haven't seen. Or haven't... Yeah, I haven't found. And then we'll go back and fight the boss. I guess we'll fight you, I guess. Oh, it's on the lower level. Come on, Celine. Give me a thunderstorm. Hell yeah. Don't touch Serena. Right. Before the boss, we'll do another round of improving, of course. Oh, I see some green enemies here. They're becoming easy. Oh, yeah, they're all becoming easy. Okay, because of that, let's actually get a certain ability. So, a new one they introduced in this version of the game is Bodyguard. We need two people with scouting at level 4. And let's see. Scouting, scouting. Well, it's easy to get, I guess. There you go, I just needed one. Um, going in the wrong menus. There it is, bodyguard. So, what this does essentially, bodyguard stops enemy symbols in their tracks. They are the skill level, the longer enemy symbols remain stopped. And you can also insta kill green enemies, your party members can, your leader cannot. If you touch them with your leader, you still enter the battle. Uh, but, essentially, because you can insta-kill green symbols, you also get all the rewards you would have gotten from battle, speeding up things by a whole lot. Uh, what's this scouting one need? Danger Raider. So we can actually grab a few Danger Raider with people because it's stamina, stamina is good. So we have Ranger Danger Raider here, grab a few of these. Everyone can grab some. Oh yeah, they have a lot of it. And we already done with you, right? Yes. Bodyguard is level six, which is okay, sure. Now let's see if we can actually trigger it here. Yeah, there you go. Arena goes and see, insta kill. It won't always trigger. So, yeah, sometimes your primers will just refuse to do it. But the higher the level, the higher the chance of them doing it. I don't even know why I'm fighting this, but whatever. Now, the weird thing about it is that I noticed in the past game, a late game, uh, you can have this ability on, lots of symbols will appear as green and therefore, like, quote-unquote easy. But then, the moment you get into an actual fight with them, uh, they're still strong. Especially, I found that out in the very last dungeon of the game, the pause game dungeon. In the center fight, which is considered easy, uh, but you'll get destroyed. Uh, but, you know, it's the easy leveling. Especially if they happen to attack one that has like a, a, a leader on. Uh, you can make a lot of XP by just doing this. So I won't actually improve Bodyguard right now, any more than it already is, since I'm gonna get it. Let's see, any of you guys attack any of these? See? There you go. 2,000 experience for free. We didn't do anything. We just let Arena do it. You guys don't want to attack any of these guys. Okay. What about that one? Nobody wants to attack it? No? Okay, it's fine. Fine then. Alright, let's do some improving. Opera is still working on machinery, but can we do anything with machinery, really? I'm trying to get the Rerica here. 50%! I only have one mechanic toolbox, though. Alright, we can try that. 50%, right? Can't be too bad. Can it? Can it? Here goes. Got it. First try. Uh, which means, let me see replication now. You're only level 4. 
However, uh, no, Celine, I need others, right? Yeah. I don't have magic film though. I have to buy it. I'll go and buy it real quick. I just want to see. Nope. Where's the f card? I have a benefaction card. Don't I have a card that is not here? No, oh, there it is. 78%, so it's not bad. We have three of them, so we can actually spend one on the boss right now. We don't need to dupli duplicate them. So that's something we can do. Other... Oh, wait, we have missions? What do we have? Defeat 100 enemies? Nice. More useless food. Alright, let's make some other improving here. Opera, can we get some training with you? Get one of these, why not? Uh, you can actually, you could improve effort, I guess, but we're really trying to improve customize with you. So let's go in here. We're gonna grab one of these. Smithing. Uh, I guess uh, between these two, I could. Yeah, we'll grab both. There we go. I right, for details done. Which also raised the avoidance, I guess. Ah, oh, we need one more to get to level 8. Just one more. Do we... Do we... Do we... Uh, I guess we could just fight the boss. Yeah, I don't need to improve with you guys. With you guys. I mean, 500 SPs. I'm gonna keep them to spam it on uh, ESP and get another Mithril, I guess. Alright, let's fight this boss. I, I've gotta remember to use the experience card as I enter the fight. What is this? Some kind of monster grave? Look out! Alright, so let me explain why these guys are nasty. These guys are nasty for one reason, because they can eat a character. If they eat a character, that character can't do anything until they decide to spit them out. And if all characters are eaten, it's game over. They can only eat one character at a time, so... If all three are alive, you can have up to three characters, you know, eaten and one dead, and one alive, so you can use that. But you know, it's still annoying. The more of them you defeat, the better. Pop that, lock onto the leader, focus your attacks. We'll just do that, do a little summon here. And they've eaten Claude, which is bad. Play healer a little bit. Oh, I'm locked onto the leader. Hang on a minute. Uh, can you guys leave me alone for a sec? Oh no, I've got need. Can you maybe free us? If you beat them up, eventually they'll free you. Let's see if Claude manages to... No, see, I'm, when their portrait gets grayed out, that means they're eaten. If I can break it. Nice. Broke the leader. Go after it. If I can destroy the leader, that'll be great. And he's dead. Heal up everybody. And now the other one should be easy at this point. Except if they get eaten like idiots. There we go, got him. So it can be a little RNG depending on how much they decide to eat you up, but there you go. And because of the double experience, look at that. That's great. That was close. I didn't think we were going to be attacked like that. Looks like a dead end. This must be the place they call the door to another world. I don't see anything resembling a door though. A door? Where? Looks like a graveyard to me. A graveyard for giants and dragons or a sacred place where monsters lurk. This couldn't have just happened, could it? Are you saying that you think somebody deliberately built this? You couldn't make something like this even if you had a hundred symbologists. It'd be impossible unless you were a god. 
I don't know if anyone in this world is that powerful though. You have to be a god to pull this off. Yeah, that's what Celine said. A god is certainly a mystery either way. Okay, for that we get a question mark armor. And Cinderella glass. And the Dill Whip, which is now oh. we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. You're right. I definitely haven't seen anything like this before. Excellent. Let's go see what Bowman thinks. Yeah, but we'll do that next time. We still have some time, I guess. It's been 40 minutes. I know it's been a lot. But maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I mean. I can try to get the last Mitchell. And get this stupidly strong weapon. Let's see. Now I improve. Okay, guys. ESP. It's ESP time. Blackberries. Mithril! Got it, got it, got it, got it. Save. Okay, now. What's my chance to craft the Blade of Minus with Mithril again? I'm gonna guess it's about 30%. Yeah, 30%, so the chance is actually not too bad. Of course, we get dual blade. But you know, 30%, it's decent. So we can try, we give it a few shots and see if that happens. No, not the scumbag slayer. Claude, please. Blade of Minus, Mithril. There we go. And there it fucking is, guys. On the second try. I also got it with a factor. I got intelligence up by 10. I don't really need it, but sure, whatever. We can rework a factor in later. And see if we can get something better than that. This weapon. It's not this best weapon, but it's very good. Look at that. Attack plus 880 with almost double his attack. Also, it has the interesting property of launching stars when he attacks. Let's see if I can show that off. Uh, you guys want to kill any of these? Well, let's just uh, get into a fight and see Cloud obliterate everything. That's gonna be fun. Alright, go Claude. And just like that. Wow. Yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Look at him doing 5000 damage. It's like when he attacks, he also sprays these little stars that do additional damage. Which is obviously very good. Now all we need to do is pump his strength and he'll you know, just one-shot stuff. While we stay back and heal him. And it's essentially the strat. I think I might have gotten uh, enemy 50 times in a row, battle armor for the first time. Break the shield of six enemies at the same time. Hell yeah. And yeah, I guess that's it. Next time. On the Let's Play of Star Ocean 2. We progress the story because there's little else to do anyway. See you then.